Hello friends, my name is Kai Johar and I welcome you all to IT Begins. Here we learn, create, share and repeat. Today we will see how to create a Kali Linux live persistent USB drive. This video is powered by QJ Technologies. For this assignment we will need a Linux machine. Any distribution of Linux will do. Second, we will require a 8 GB USB drive and third we'll require a Kali Linux ISO which can be downloaded from the link which is on the screen. Creating a persistent pen drive is a two step procedure. Let's see them one by one. In the first step we will image the Kali Linux ISO file which we downloaded on the USB using a Linux utility tool called DD. So let's quickly move to the demo. Now in this demo, we will image the Kali Linux ISO file on our USB drive. First command I will press is ls for listing the files which I have. We can see here I have Kali Linux 2016.2 AMD ISO file which I have downloaded. Now let's see the available drives using the command lsblk. As I type this command we can see SDA which indicates my internal hard drive and SDB sorry which is a USB external USB drive which I have inserted and we can see that it is of something around 7.2 GB. So now using DD command we will image the Kali Linux ISO file onto our SDB drive. So let's quickly make use of the DD command dd space if stands for input file equals to our input file will be this so I'll just paste this here next output file of equals to sdb so that is slash dev slash sdb next is the block size bs equals to 512k which stands for 512 KB which is the standard size and optimized one which we normally use. Now let's press enter. This might take a moment so let's wait for some time. It might take around 4 to 5 minutes depending on the speed of a USB drive. So here we are successfully copied all the data or from the ISO into our USB drive making it a Kali Linux live USB. So now you can use it as a live USB but only problem will be you will not be able to store in any operations or data on or it all the data will be cleared on a restart. So our next step is to add persistence to a Kali Linux live USB which we have created so all the data which we create we can store it on the drive. So let's directly go to our terminal screen and see how to do this. So if I now type ls usb sorry lsblk we can see oh shit Okay, just remove your pen drive from the USB port and insert it again and then type lsblk. So once you type this you can see sdb and initially it was sdb1 that was only one partition on the pen drive. Now we have two different partitions sdb1 and sdb2. Now we will create a third partition on which we will be storing all the data which will be sdb3 for creating a partition type gparted space slash dev slash sdb enter so you will have a screen like this on your screen uh, screen like this uh, now we can see that there is sdb1 sdb2 and 4.35 gb is unallocated i'll just click new 
and thus I will select pri primary partition uh, select ext3 and type persistence as a label make sure you copy the spelling correctly p e r s i s t e n c e and click add here we are now go to edit apply all operations apply and uh, it might take some time so let's wait until this completes so this will be shown as soon as all the operations are completed click on close here so we can see we have created ext3 partition with label as persistence so this is done just close this now next when you type ls usb sorry ls blk we can see we have sdb1 sdb2 sdb3 right next we'll create a directory with mkdir named my usb so slash dash p slash mnt slash my usb enter now we'll mount the sdb3 partition which we have created into my usb folder which we or directory so the command is mount slash dev sdb3 space slash mnt slash my usb enter next we need to create a persistent dot conf configuration file in the partition and write a data with backslash union so for doing that we'll type echo space slash sorry inverted double inverted commas slash space union double inverted commas closed space forward bracket space slash mnt slash my usb slash per s i s t e n c e persist c e dot conf persistence dot conf and press enter once this is done just unmount the drive so the command is u mount space slash mnt slash my usb enter so now we have successfully created a persistence pen drive so now you can even store data and the data that you have stored will persist even after a restart so just restart your machines and set the first boot device to pen drive so that whenever there is a boot operation your machine will load from the pen drive the operating system which is in the pen drive next you will get this screen click select the live usb persistence option which is the fourth option on the boot screen and once you press enter you are ready to go so if in case if there is any error so you need to disable uefi and enable legacy mode in your bios so basically normally we don't face any issues but in case if there are any issues you can use the screen as a go forward okay so guys thanks for watching this is it if you have any doubts just feel free to comment below the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned and uh, just share and and keep innovating thank you this video is powered by qj technologies